What exactly is GridDB? GridDB is a highly scalable in-memory NoSQL database. It uses a distributed architecture allowing for easy scale-out. This also means that using commodity inexpensive hardware is practical. By using a modified key value store, or what we refer to as key container, GridDB excels at IoT applications. GridDB's data adopts a key container data model, which is expanded from the more typical key value method. Data is stored within containers, which themselves are similar to regular RDB tables, complete with a fixed schema. The fact that GridDB's data model has a fixed schema brings with it a host of benefits, namely that ACID can again be guaranteed. It also means that performance is vastly improved. What makes GridDB especially great at managing your IoT data is that there are two different types of containers, collection and time series. The collection container can be thought of as a table, where any value can make up the key, such as a sensor name. While the more interesting of the two, the time series container, uses an actual timestamp as its row key. The time series containers come equipped with a slew of ready-made functions designed to make the life of the developer easier. The expire release function, for example, allows for stale data to be removed after a certain amount of time. Aggregation functions provide common statistical calculations, while the sampling functions allow convenient methods of accessing data at intervals other than which it was stored. GridDB has a memory first disk second storage architecture, which is a fancy way of saying it's mostly an in-memory database. Stale data eventually gets flushed to disk, meaning GridDB maintains its high performance for your workloads. The image on the left shows the data priority structure. CPU, cache, memory, finally to disk. Because the data is distributed across all nodes, GridDB is able to utilize parallel processing. Here are some hard numbers to show GridDB's superior performance. We ran YCSB benchmarks against Cassandra, the NoSQL database known for its speed, and GridDB fared really well. In read-only applications, GridDB is up to 25 times faster than Cassandra using the exact same configuration. When comparing update-heavy workloads, GridDB is still 7 times faster. GridDB is also highly scalable. It uses a master-slave model which is more efficient than a peer-to-peer -peer cluster. It is able to scale out horizontally with commodity hardware while maintaining the same level of performance. The data is distributed across all nodes and has configurable replication levels. GridDB scalability is also automatic. This means that you can add more nodes and expand your entire cluster without any stoppage. Data distribution and failover are also taken care of for you. GridDB is also very highly available. It uses a hybrid cluster management system which takes the best aspects of both master-slave and peer-to-peer. -peer. The issue with master-slave systems is that they end up having one single point of failure, the master node. The issue with peer-to-peer -peer is the massive overhead caused by the constant fragmenting of data across all nodes. In a GridDB cluster, all nodes which constitute the cluster are homogeneous, meaning they all share the same functions, similar to that of a peer-to-peer. -peer. But extending beyond that, GridDB's nodes will also pick a master node, thus making the rest of the nodes followers. If a master node should ever go down, the rest of the follower nodes will automatically elect a new master node. GridDB manages to avoid the network partitioning error known as split brain by maintaining that the number of nodes which constitute a cluster must be more than a quorum. So for example, if you need to add another node to your cluster, GridDB will automatically replicate your data across the added node based on your replication factor setting, all while keeping your cluster online Thank you for watching. If you would like to learn more, please visit us at griddb.net or check out our GitHub page.